Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we play Dead Man's Hand Warrior, new and improved with Scholomance Academy. Now, the expansion didn't bring in too many new cards, but the ones it did really fit really well, like Lord Baroth and Kaworz. These cards help you either get to the point where you are growing infinite, or just help you take care of any late game threats. Let's see how long I lasted and get to the games. Okay. All of that is bad. This is better. I guess a risky skipper would have been fine if we had gotten a, uh, like a battle rage or an alkalite, but we didn't, so it's fine. Probably should have kept it, though. Sludge slurper. All right. We got Bear of an Ant too, that's nice. I like this card art. I think it's hilarious. You can tell by my completely straight face. So we're just gonna shield block next turn. Can't tell so far on what he's done, what kind of uh what kind of shaman he's at. Okay, there's one of our dead man's hands. Okay, this is looking like a like a tempo shaman. Okay, so we got an alkalite of pain. We can board clear uh, pretty much whenever we want, starting turn six. What are we looking for? Yeah, so he's like a tempo overload shaman. All right. This is probably going to be very bad then. Okay, down to 19. We got course but that's that's useless right now let's see three two one yeah I was still right so we can clear the board next turn and we'll probably need to because we've got three six nine ten twelve damage on board Toby plays a lot of his uh, cards here. Or at least a lot of his minions. Okay, so we've got two more attack. That puts him at 14. Ooh, that's nice too. Yeah, we're probably going to save it for a later turn, as now we can get a lot of armor. And then we'll probably just go ahead and shield slam that. Yeah, that was pretty much a Reno. Because now we're back at 30. We don't need the shield slam anymore now that we have Risky Skipper to activate our Lord Barov. Here for the tour. So how much attack do they have here on board? He's got 5, 7, 10, 11. We're at 20. 22 if we do that. I think we're just going to go ahead and clear this, though. We 
We still have another Whirlwind in Lord Barov. And then next turn we can just Garrosh. So we can do four or five to that as of right now. Next turn we'll be able to do more with the uh, Blade Storm. This is scary. Lightning Bloom's always scary no matter what. All right. You got something else? No, you do not. Don't be taunt. All right. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. Then we can do that. Draw another card. And there we go. Alright, we're back in just like that in good shape. He's having trouble finding stuff though. Alright, what's he coining out? Okay, he doesn't have any, uh, anything to use that, though. We still have dupes in our deck. And we get another Dead Man's Hand. He has two Lava Bursts in hand. So we're not dead, because they'll only do five each, six each, if he rolls a spell damage. That's still not quite lethal, unless he rolls spell damage, but he can only cast one anyway. He did roll spell damage, though. Blade Storm. Um, or wait. No, we need to rip the Blade Storm, right? Or no, wait. We can Risky Skipper. And then we can this girl. And then we have enough armor to keep ourselves alive a bit longer. Zephyrus is active as soon as we draw the uh, Blood Boil Brute. Okay, we're gonna throw this away so that we can equip our bulwark and not feel bad about it. Oh wait, oh, I should have dead man's handed so I could get more bulwarks. That was a bad play on my part. But there we go. We won anyway. Yeah, deck has a lot of sustain. Okay, so as most decks are aggro and rogue's only popular right now because of odd and Kingsbane, we're going to keep the dry whisker. Because if they start playing a lot of stuff, we can start gaining a lot of armor. And we got Brand 2. That feels great. Funnel cakes, you say? Okay, so we got some good setup now for uh, Risky Skipper. So this is probably Thief Rogue, so 
We're actually not in that bad of a spot for Thieb Rogue. We'll want to save the bear off as long as we can for a crazy test turn or something. Next turn we're probably just going to end up shield blocking. Okay, yeah, battle rage getting really... A skipper looking real nice. However, next turn we probably just throw out an Acolyte of Pain. As we want to not overdraw anything. Okay, come on. What can you do? Okay, that's interesting in a Thief Rogue. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe this just isn't Thief Rogue. Um, so we can gain a lot of armor if we blade storm and do that. But I want to get more draw off, even if it's just one. And if he doesn't, then we can get a lot of draw off. Well, there's a card. Okay, so what happens here if we play two cards? We'd be drawing three of them, so we would be overdrawing if we did that. All right. We can gain two, four, six. We can gain 12 armor through Dry Whisker and Bran. I don't think this is the turn for that, though. I'm going to hit that to set two minions to three. We're going to dead man's hand. And there we go. Now we can Lord Bear off sooner because we have another one in deck now. That's interesting. We got our other Lord Bear off just like that. We need an activator for this Bear off though, or else it's pointless. Risky Skipper, Shield Slam, Blade Storm, anything that activates him would be really useful. However, this brand is like acting like a soft taunt right now. Even though it's its only existence is to combo with Dry Whisker. And unless we draw another one next turn. Although I can't tell his deck seems like it's wanting to be a thief, but then I could couldn't guess why the Kobold Illusionist in there. That's more fitting of like a a big rogue. Then why are you running a comma Puskter and all of that stuff? All right. Hmm. Okay.
okay, that's cool. Dirty Red and Kargath. Kargath is nice. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's, I guess it's Death Rattle Rogue. Why you would run Huckster, though, is, is interesting. As well as Kobold Delusionist as, like, yeah, they're the Death Rattle, but what are you wanting to get off? I mean, maybe if they're running, like, a hybrid Death Rattle and Big, and then they get, like, you know, Cartoots off, uh, Scrapyard Colossus is off. Still lacking an activator for Lord Barov. However, they're playing more aggressive, so if they're just going to end up going at face here. Arphis 2, that's... Like, wh why though? <laughs> Arphis is definitely not what I want out of a 4 mana card. Okay, so yep, they're just going face, so we can draw um, a, a good amount. Ah, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay, well that's definitely something to do this turn. But I have no intention of letting him hit me in the face for seven next turn. We still got that burrowing mine in our deck too that we gotta look out for. Now we always have an activator for Lord Bear off though, so that's cool. However, we can only use one of them if we want to keep getting him off. And I and I'd like to kill this Terran Gorfine before we bear off. So if he keeps just hyper aggroing in Ghost Face, then that's actually way better for me. Especially because most people wouldn't take this weapon into consideration. So we probably won't put something in between them. Well, there's something we don't need to uh, deal with now. Using our weapon for it. What have we got, though? Okay, so that's a shame. However, nevertheless. You tried to keep yourselves alive. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We could have. Okay. So we got. Uh... We should have, we probably actually should have played a Dirty Rat to get something out of his hand. So that was a misplay. So he can, he's probably going to end up hitting this and this to hit the bear off to kill it so that he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, Acolyte of Pain here, or anything that gives us Hyper Draw would be nice. We do have some Hyper Draw with Battle Rage. But we also need to make sure that our hand isn't too full. Okay, so and we can't play both Dirty Rats to get Mega Draw, as we don't want to throw all of them away. Yeah, they've done nothing yet this turn. I wonder as well. Well, there's something scary. So, 
We do, unfortunately, have to throw away our other bear off here. Um, do we ever hit first? Well, what are we going to do? Okay, so we bear off, and then we would run that in. And then play that, get some draw. Yeah, we're going to... Let's just deal with that. Alright. It was nice to get Kelfu's out of hand, though, especially with a Koros in hand. We don't have to d worry about Kelfu's out anymore. Hmm. Next turn, we can draw two more with Acolyte. If he plays anything a uh, lot, we can always dry whisker, but we probably always want to pair him with Bran if possible. This weapon probably isn't going to see a lot of use, but you mostly play Garrosh for the hero power in this deck anyway. Honestly, though, Lord Barov really makes this work. Or this deck, rather. Okay, shield block, that's draw, that's good. However, we are going to Acolyte first. You take a bit of face damage here, but that's all right. Draw more, and we get a blade storm. That's cool. Uh, we still have two risky skippers and two blood boil brutes to get out of our deck before the Zephyrses are always active. Couldn't see a rogue doing uh, 19 burst damage. Okay, so there's definitely something. All right, and then blood boil brute for five. Then we can do that, and then go ahead and throw on the bulwark. Then we'll just leave that that armor smith up in case we can get a lot more off of it. That's fine, as we're taking no damage, of course. All right. So next turn we would be taking ten. The rover's not uh, too useful here. The Zephyrus, of course, still isn't active. Now, we don't want to throw him out because of Blade Storm. Or maybe we do. This is rough right now. Simply because Zephyrus is inactive. Um, uh, well, these will be the same health. So... Durability's sake.
Okay, so if we can just draw a risky skipper here, we're we're good. We're good. Because then our both of our Zephyrus are active. We got a twenty percent chance of doing so. Did you really just hit with the They really out here hitting with the stronger ones first. Okay, Cargath Prime is great too. So I think what I'll do Throw a shield slam down on this guy. And then we'll obviously hit this as that blocks any damage we, we would take from this anyway. Uh, and it still leaves this alive in case he has been going hyper aggro. Maybe he'll forget about it. So we got like a Still got, got an even higher chance of drawing one of our Risky Skippers next turn as well. Coerce could also be really good. So we can do 14, 17 damage. That doesn't even break all of the armor. He is going hyper aggro. If he's going to ram his face into this. with the, or I guess he would still have a death rattle. Or maybe he takes this out via some other way. A spell or something. But this is a dangerous minion to leave up. His golden animation also looks so cool. He really gonna leave up Kargath Prime like that. Alright. Now you have no thing to grab. Okay, drew one of our risky skippers. Wait, I could have just anchored so long ago. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the but it doesn't matter because he's active. This rogue has been playing terribly though. Like they left up the Kargath Prime. I swear, they they like don't know what my cards do. I don't know what else it would be. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's say we get hit for 13 here. And then we hit the Burrowing Mine. We would still be absolutely fine. Okay, so we hit a Battle Rage. That's actually not even that good right now. Um, I think we're dead no matter what if we hit the Burrowing Mine. So... Yeah, we can't risk taking the four. So I think we have to twisting. Okay, so if we if we hit a 20% chance, we're screwed. But I didn't hit a 20% chance to draw the riskies, so maybe we get lucky. Or who knows, maybe they just have two eviscerates in hand. And a card that they can play. Do we draw the mine? We don't draw the mine. Okay, 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 okay. Don't give me lay on hands. Yeah, thing is, I I absolutely 
need the healing. Or, no, because he hits me for six, so if I draw the... The bomb, I'm dead anyway. Who would have thought that the random would have given him the win here? Because that's his win condition right now. Just, just make sure I'm under 10 health when I draw the bomb. Because I don't have any taunts. I don't have any of the, uh, or anything else that would save me. Guardian of Kings there was not what I was looking for at all. I was looking for more health, uh... See, it would have given me three more health. It would have put me at 16. I get hit. I still hit the bomb, so... Even that would have killed me. But maybe we don't hit 25% chance. And your turn, Rogue. Don't, don't hit the 25% chance. Don't do it. Hit, uh, hit the Bran. Hit the Bran. That's what I know you want to hit the Bran right now. So that's what you're going to do. Hit the Bran. Okay, we got armor. <laughs> We're still alive. So this is what we have to do. And then we gotta hit a dead man's hand so that we don't, uh, now unfortunately we're no longer infinite, but it lowers the chance of drawing this mine, which is what we can't deal with right now. So that is the right play. They're almost out of cards. However, that wax of dread is actually really important in this game as I'm not going to be able to deal with a, uh, a 7-5 every single turn, so I need to win quickly. However, with none of the big players like Kargath, or Blood Brute, or Barov, I think we might just be in for a loss every time. So let's see, hitting that puts me at 2. So again, hitting the mine would be a would be a kill there. Would be a kill if he just double goes face. I have no time for games. There's that as well. So if we hit bomb, we're dead. That would be a really sad way to end this game. However, I think it's just over no matter what. Yay! Okay, yeah, we draw we drew the mine on our terms. I vowed of course. Oh I just fatigued myself to death. No, okay, we're still we're still fine. Okay, we got a lot of health again. And there's the wax of dread. Damn, yeah, this is over. Because he just hits with the comma and then goes face. Or he's throwing out more damage, but I still think we're just dead here. That was a good game. That was a really fun, good and long game. Okay, Rogue, come on. This one turned out. 
Okay, so we still had a kobold and an umbra that was literally the last card. I bet he would have liked that earlier. He still had an Anubis Seth, all right. And there's that. And we'll suicide on our own. Damn, that game was fun. Yeah, yeah, good, good shit. You, you were taking forever on your turns, but I still had a good, fun game.